I'm really interested in theories of learning that are real expansive theories of learning, right? That focus on what's possible, right? Rather than kind of deficit orientations. And the and way I talk about it is that school really privileges what we call vertical forms of expertise. It's a kind of a disciplinary kind of knowledge in which you deepen your understanding of mathematics, you deepen your understanding of science, you deepen your understanding of a particular disciplinary domain. And that's wonderful. We want that. We need that. But what schools have, and because they operate around a theory of learning that absolutely, absolutely ignores what we call horizontal forms of expertise. And that's the expertise that takes hold as people move across their everyday practices, right? Schools do not figure in, not just curric in terms of curriculum, but in terms of the way they understand learning. That learning, those of us who know how people learn, we know that, this is kind of the metaphor that I use, that everyday expertise and school-based expertise should grow into one another to, under, to get to deep, expansive learning, right? That's kind of a fundamental learning principle, and it's not what it's at work in the way we imagine schools, the way we imagine organizing learning in formal learning environments. And this project has allowed me to do something I've always wanted to do, and that is to really follow these youth back into their homes and to really examine like, how do, do these tools and practices travel? And in what way do these youth leverage the kinds of tools and expertise that they're developing in this after-school site in other ecologies? So we've started out, we've had nine families, which is amazing for the first year, and we do a really in-depth kind of, it's amazing they let us into their homes and let us do all this because they do social network interviews. We, we um, take inventory of their everyday practices. They do home video tours for us to help us understand the ecology and how they're defining their space. We do health and energy and education interviews. So we're studying their new media practices, but we're really also trying to understand the ecology of that family and the practices that give meaning to what we're seeing in our interviews and our videotapes. It's really been a fascinating study.